What's up, everybody? Back in with another review. Back to back to back. Back to back to back. Yeah, three in a row. Uh, this time I'm reviewing the power of the entire series. So I binge watched the entire series over the course of like a couple of weeks, I think. Maybe maybe three weeks. I think it was like two or three weeks. Uh, on Hulu. All six seasons. And... That shit was very enjoyable. Uh, my favorite thing about the show was the characters. Because uh, the, pl the plot got very repetitive. Uh, I kind of I realized about halfway through that like every season was pretty much the exact same. Or a little bit more than halfway through. That every season was the exact same plot pretty much. Uh, Go was trying to get out the game. But getting pulled back in for various reasons. Having to get get out, find a figure out a way to get out again. So that was pretty much every season of the show. But I didn't mind that because the characters were just so entertaining to watch. Um, I would say my favorite characters is def definitely either between Kanan, Ghost of Tommy. I would say, I would say Kanan because I feel like Kanan is like the perfect mix between Ghost and Tommy. Whereas Tommy is like way too fucking uh, emotional, and Ghost is like the very logical one. Um, can well, why wouldn't say Kanan is even in the middle of that because Kanan isn't really emotional. Kanan is like the exact. I was like talking like Kanan is like. Cause he's not emotional. But and he's very logical. I would say he's like the more street version. He's like the the more street. I want so I definitely want. So let me take that back. He's not in the middle between, you know, Chuck Ghost and Tommy. I would say he sets himself apart by being uh, very unemotional and logical. And he's like I would say, and then Ghost is slightly emotional. And really logical. And then Tommy is very emotional. Sometimes logical. And I think that... That would be like the... What I would rank... Those traits in them. Uh... And... Yeah, I would say Ken is probably my favorite. Just because I really, really, really liked... 50 Cent's portrayal of him. And, like, just how, like, real he came off. Uh, all the characters kind of come off as real, in a sense. Like, the acting was, like, really good at nailing down you know, the authenticity and feel of the, the characters. And I, I, can, I can really fucking see this being who these people are in real life. Uh, it's probably for the best that they are not. But I can very, very easily see these people being these people in real life. Like... I, like, I haven't seen any of these people act in anything else, uh, as far as I can remember. But I think, I can imagine, like, if I did see them act in something else, it would be, like, kind of, like, funny. Depending on what the range was, if they were basically playing a similar character, then it would just be the same thing. But there was, like, a range where they're playing, like, almost an entirely different character. Uh, yeah, it would be, it'd be interesting. Like, see them in a different role. Well, I mean, I did see Get Rich or Die Trying, but it was a long ass time ago, and I don't really remember it. So, I ain't gonna count that. Um, I said, so the acting and the characters get like an A, an A plus. There were, there were. <laughs> I felt like there were some plot elements that I disagreed with creatively because. Now, and this, this, this is definitely we get into the spoiler section of the shit. So if you ain't seen it and you want to see it, you don't want to get spoiled, go the fuck away. But, I was saying that like, like, the, like I said, the, like, the repetitive, the repetitive um, aspect of the the show, the, 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 the plot line of ghosts keep getting pulled back in. And having to get out. It's like every season. It's like he got out the same way. Like he just ended up just killing the person. So I'm like, why didn't he just do that shit from the beginning? 
like, if you want to do it anyway, like, he, um, I understand being, you know, strategic about the kill and how you, how you do it, but it was, like, every season is, like, something happens, and it, it was, like, like, it felt like it was more than just a frustration that he was getting pulled back in. I was, like, he's legitimately scared. He's, like, something's gonna happen, and he just, like, he damn near easily, like, just kills the person. And I'm, like, why is he keep getting, like, so afraid when he's, like, basically, like, the, when he ends up killing them, is almost, like, nothing damn near, like, it was damn near, like, super easy to do, like, why were you fucking scared in the first place, like, obviously the, the Lobos kill was probably the, the hardest kill to pull off, because he's in federal custody, and all that, so that took, that was harder, but the, what's her name, the Alicia Jimenez kill, the Diego Jimenez kill, those all felt like very, I know, the, the Milan kill, those all felt like way easier than I felt like they should have felt, considering how, like, how much of a, I don't want to say bitch, but they were kind of acting a little, like, they were acting like these people were just so much, uh, so much higher than them on a totem pole, only for them, like, kill them, like, pretty easily, and, like, that was one thing, I was like, that doesn't make any sense. But, uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess I, I do realize, like, I guess, business-wise, that was the whole, you know, being the, like, that was kind of like their connect, so they didn't want to have to kill the connect and, you know, have to find a new one and all that. I get that, too, but I'm like, how hard would it really have been to find another fucking connect? Like, I'm, I'm not in, in the drug business. But I'm like, what did it really been that hard? For them to find a new, a new connector or something like that. But I guess the the next thing that kind of didn't really make, well, I wouldn't say it didn't make sense. But I... I saw, well, I'm guessing I get on, get on Tariq ass because Tariq is my, like, like I said, Kanan, Ghost and Tommy are, like, my favorite, and I'll put Toronto for Kanan as my favorite, favorite, and Tariq is my least favorite character. Not just the acting, I like the actor, I like the acting, but, like, the character was so fucking frustrating because I'm, like, his entire arc is, like, he's a good kid, he's smart, he's good, everything's good. And he just gets so mad that his dad cheats on his mom and leaves his mom. That he just fucks up his whole life behind that, behind Ghost doing that one thing. And I'm like, for a, some, for a character that's smart, that was such a, that was a very dumb thing to do. Like, Raina's like, yeah, like, it happened. It, it probably sucks, but we just make the most out of the situation. You know, she was over at, when, when she was over by, you know, um, Angela's house. She's um, really cordial with her, and she's chill. Like Raina was this very way more level headed than Tariq, uh, and I'm like, yeah, it sucks that your dad cheated on your mom, but do you really have to like bring a gun to school and become a, try to become a big ass drug dealer just because your dad cheated on your mom? And you know he obviously the the, the lie about he lied. I was he felt. I felt like he felt more portrayed by the whole, you know, lying about where the money came from than he should have. Um, like I said, like, with Raina, she was like, uh, at the end of the day, regardless of where this money came from, we got the money, and we're, you know, we're, we're these rich kids, we have a good life, we have all this shit, let's just toe the line, be cool, go to school, enjoy the fact that our parents are rich, and not give a fuck where the money came from. And I liked her attitude on it. I did not like Tyreek's. So his, so his thing is, he's mad that his dad is a drug dealer. So he's gonna go be a drug dealer. That doesn't make any fucking sense. It is like the dumbest. His, like all of his like, his like motivations and his actions don't line up. Like he's taking way drastic. Like, I understand being mad about it, but, like, his 
action that he takes because of being mad is like, don't match. I was like, he's going way too far. And for him to be as smart as he's supposed to be, he's, I would think he would like understand why he's going too far, why this is way too far to the point it almost doesn't even make sense. Like, you're smart enough to get into all these the private schools. I know they probably do some money, but he, like I said, they, they did, like, throw lines in there throughout the show that, that said, like, he really was smart and he uh, was, like, getting the good grades at, the, at these, you know, elite schools and shit. So, like, for you to be that smart, first, you let you... Like, I, like, I seem like they, they made up something he, he was way too smart to be doing something so dumb for such a dumb reason. And that's the only thing about Tariq that really kind of frustrated me. But I like the acting. I like the actor. So, I, at least that was cool. Another decision I had, like, kind of going back to Reyna, I felt like she was way too smart to go out the way she did. Like, why the fuck would she go off to, to Ray Ray like that alone outside? No one is niggas like a dirty ass cop. Like even if he didn't kill you right then and there, he he could have like kidnapped you. You don't know, you know like you outside by yourself at night with this dirty cop. That didn't make any fucking sense. Why the fuck would she do that? Like I said, she seemed way too smart and level headed to do something shit like that. But she didn't, and he killed her. And I also just I disagree with the decision to kill her because I felt like I wanted I would have been interested to see if you were gonna go this route with Tariq and have him just go head on. I want to be a big time drug dealer. Uh, I hate my daddy, so I'm gonna go be a drug dealer. It would have been a good balance between the two of them, especially since they were twins. To um, to um, get kind of like that. Uh, two sides thing where you have the the one twin going one way and the other twin going the exact opposite way and seeing how their lives are playing out and seeing if she's gonna try to if she's whatever be able to like get him to go back to the light basically uh, um and then you know if, if she got caught up and got killed like by a straight bullet or something in book two you know, book two ghost or something like that. Then I could see. But I felt like her death and season like killing her at the end of season four and then that to re- you know, go the way he was I felt like it it was a wasted death. That was like like it was a waste of a character pretty much. To kill her that to kill her that way at that time. I felt like there was like still room for her character to do more. Especially in like with Tyreek doing what he was doing. And, yes, yeah, so I disagree with that. And then, I would say, my main gripe of the entire show, I feel like I'm, this sounds really negative, but I really did enjoy the show. I really liked the show. I'm going to watch uh, book two and book three. I'm, I'm, I'm going to watch all the books, all the, all the new, all the other books. Eventually, uh, I don't have the um, the stars add on for Hulu. I don't need to get I don't need to get the stars add on, so I'm gonna watch it, or I'll go actually go out and get the DVDs. I'll do one of those two. Well, what the fuck DVDs? Or I'll just watch them. I either do it on Amazon, or I either watch it on Amazon Video, or put get the stars add on for Hulu, so I can watch it like in the course of like two weeks or some shit like that. Um, I, I will say one, if I say like the one, my, my last gripe with the show, when I say that, I'll say that one, I was going to say the, uh, another positive, but I'll, I'll put this one negative in there. I didn't like that for a show. That drew influence from the 50 Laws of Power, which is probably why it's called Power, because I know 50 Cent is friends with Robert Greene, 
wrote the 50 Laws of Power, which is like this book about strategy and power. And there's like, Kanan, Kanan really talks about this stuff throughout the show. Like, when he's talking about when he's playing chess and he is... And obviously, the, the chess thing is supposed to be like an analogy for being strategic, which is why Ken and then Tyreek is doing it. And obviously, the girl who Therese going to school with and he, like, who, who, like, sets him up or whatever, she puts some chess move on the board for him to see when he's leaving. I like, I like the chess analogy. But, so, like I said, the whole point of that and the connection to the, you know, 50 Laws of Power is pointing to, you know, um, the show's supposed to be about strategy and being strategic and shit but like for sure that draws so heavily off those things why the fuck did all the smart characters get killed by all the emotional characters that's what fucked me up that all the emotional characters or overly emotional characters except Holly um survived and all the smart characters died and they were killed by the emotional characters. I'm like, how the fuck did that happen? For a show that's supposed to be about, like, strategy and shit. And have an emphasis on that. I'm like, that, that was really annoying to me. I was like, Ghost. I was like, I liked, I love Tommy. But Tommy should die instead of Ghost. I'm like, that makes no sense for Ghost to be the one who ends up dead and not Tommy. Oh, his overly emotional ass. Should have got... There's no way Tommy should go. Tommy should have outlived Ghost and Kane, fucking Kanan? Kanan, nigga? You tell me. I guess, I don't know if. Like, Kanan dying was supposed to like be like some type of like big up on, Ty on Tariq. And to, like show how smart Tariq is that he was able to set up Kanan the same. You no, know, and play Kanan the same way Kanan played him. But I'm like, you really got Kan killed Tariq got Kanan. Tariq killed Ghost. And he like indirectly got Kanan killed. I'm like, this nigga, this overly emotional ass nigga got Kanan and Ghost? And Tommy fucking outlived Kanan and Ghost. The only character who was really I felt who was more strategic than emotional who actually lived was Tasha. And even she ends up in fucking jail for something she didn't do by the end of the show. I'm like, nigga, how did all the how did all the smart characters lose and the emotional characters won on a show about being smart and strategic? I don't know if that was like kind of a, an inside joke about how that was gonna happen, or if that's like some message I'm not just not getting about like how being smart ain't everything. But I'm like, it seems kind of counterproductive on a show about strategy for. All the, all the strategic player characters to die or end up in jail or, and pretty much lose by the end to all the emotional characters. Uh, e even, like, the disparity between... Uh, I'm not even sure that's the right way to use that word. Between um, what's T Tariq and Reyna, the emotional twin lives and the smart twin dies. Well, the smarter twin, because they're both smart, but she's obviously more level-headed than he is, but she got killed behind his shit by doing something that she shouldn't have been doing in the first place because that was not a smart thing to do at all, and she should have known that. Shit, just wild, you know? That they went that route with it. That was like, I was like, what the fuck are they doing? Um, I will say, though, I really like the uh, whole, you know, on the last five episodes. Oh, and I wasn't sure I was going to like this. If I was going like, to like this at all. How, uh, you know, they, you know, if we see in episode 10, Ghost gets shot. We don't know who, we don't know who did it. Uh, you know, season six. And then episode 11 through five is going through the suspects. I did not know how I was going to like that. I didn't, I, I wasn't sure I was going to like that. I, I was leaning toward pro that I probably wouldn't going to like it. But I actually ended up liking those last five episodes a lot. So, shout out to him for that. that. That was cool. You know, running through all the, sus the suspects and their days. 
on on that on the last day and seeing you know checking off the list so cool for that and you know obviously some suburban because like i already knew that it was going to be tyree because i've seen a bunch of spoilers that the spoilers is what got me into like maybe be like no let me check this show out so i had like heard about power and i see i seen it on news on hulu but i wasn't really interested too interested in checking it out. I mean, I was interested, but not too not interested in enough. No, I wasn't, I wasn't interested at all. <laughs> I wasn't interested at all to check it out. But then I saw a couple of spoilers, and I was like, you know what, let me... I like saw, 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 saw the club with Tariq kill Ghost. I saw... Uh, I saw the clip of Raina Die. I saw the, some other st stuff. And I was like, you know what, let me, let me check this show out. And honestly, knowing the spoilers did not ruin the show for me. That's like one thing I would say. Spoilers, well, we don't like spoilers. Spoilers will not ruin a good show. If it's good, it's going to be good. No matter if it's you spoiled or not. Even if you're not surprised, it's so, it's like so easy to get invested and get suspending this belief. And about a show, about any, about a good, a good show or movie, even when you know spoilers, is why, like, you know, when you rewatch something, you can still enjoy it if you know, if you know what's gonna happen. Uh, I will say I do kind of wish I had known about Tariq killing Ghost though. That would have been a good, a good surprise for me. So I do kind of wish I hadn't spoiled that for myself. But getting into uh, and it's. As far as Ghost dying, though, I am in the camp that I don't think he's dead. I'm on that team. Because, obviously, if you don't know, you might know. There's, like, some people think Ghost actually died. Some people think Ghost didn't die and he's going to come back in either book two Ghost or one of the other books um, at some point. And what's-her-face basically kind of almost can she didn't confirm it. I mean, you know, the, the writer and creator name I do not remember but she was pretty much like they were like is Ghost dead and they asked her in an interview is he really dead and she was like she didn't want to give an answer she was like anything can happen and I think that answer basically confirms that like the nigga ain't dead he come back eventually I, I feel like that been the way I want it to happen I want him to come back on the last episode of Ghost of no book two Ghost and kill Tyreek and that's the end of the show but I would say, though, I, I feel like I would want that to be, like, the end of the entire series. The entire the entire story. Because I know you have all these, there's book two, book three. I mean, well, book three is a, is a prequel, so I guess it didn't have to be, it wouldn't have to be the end of, but I feel like I wouldn't want to see him do that. And then there'd still be more seasons of uh, book four, book five. Because I'm like, well, is he going to show up on there, too, or what? I'd rather, you know, like, I almost kind of wish they would have saved book two. Had book two be book five or be book four. Just so if we are going to get that ending, that that could be, like, what ends the entire series, the entire universe, is Ghost comes back and kills Tyreek at the end. Because, like I said, I don't like that he, that he lost to Tyreek. I don't feel like Tariq was smart enough to beat. I don't feel like Tariq was smart enough to beat him, and you, I mean, you could say that he obviously also didn't think Tariq was smart enough to beat him, which is how he got beat, because he under, he, you say well he underestimated Tariq. Why the fuck do I keep saying Tariq? That's what fucking Kanan was calling him. I'm pretty sure his name is it's just Tariq. It's Tariq. What? what? Yes, yeah, Tariq. So. Uh, you could say that because he underestimated him, that's how he got got. But I'm like, uh, I mean, there's like videos going on YouTube that you can check out, like people talking about, you know, pointing at stuff that happened in the finale as to why they think he didn't actually die. But I would say, yeah, I don't think he died. I think he's still alive. And he set everything up this way. I mean, I think he's going to come back. Either he's going to come back and kill Tyreek to Tariq, or he's going to... 
Yeah, I think because it's a race decision to keep doing the drug business, he's going to kill him eventually. I think if, if Tariq had stayed had stayed the course and just did, did the school, got his inheritance, he wouldn't have come back. But I think he's going he's gonna to come back and kill Tariq because Tariq is doing his drug shit. And you can, like, look into... You can go on YouTube and look at people's videos explaining the theory on Ghost Being Alive. Uh, so, yeah. I think that's... Yeah, the one, one last thing I want to point out about the show was that uh, I really enjoyed the writing. There were these scenes where... Like, the, the like there was a scene between Ghost and Kanan at this bar before the troop was just out there, out there about what, uh, what ghosts and, um, had did to Kanan. And it was, it felt like the way the scene was written and acted, it felt like, obviously, obviously, obviously we knew Kanan knew, but it felt like that in that scene, Ghost knew Kanan knew, and Kanan knew that Ghost knew that he knew, if you can follow that. And I just like, like, the, the way they were looking at each other and the way they were talking to each other is like, that's like they both fucking know. <laughs> and I like, I like writing like that. I like that type of, psych like, like that psychological battle type shit. And, I, and they did it again between Angie and, Angie and Ghost. When Angela goes to when when Ghost pays off Holly, and go and Angie goes to um. And he, he tells Angie where to find Holly, and he she goes she talks to Holly, and then Angie goes back to Ghost, and they're having this like back and forth. I was like, she knows he's Ghost, and he knows she knows he's Ghost, and she know he know he know and like everybody knows what's going on, but it's like. Neither character wants to be the one to play the hand and throw it all out there yet. So it's like they're both playing each other, but they both know that they're both playing each other. And it like kind of creates this weird psychological dynamic. And I like the scenes like that because it's it, not the first. Like, I, it happened those two times, but I think, I'm pretty sure there are probably other times I, I don't even remember. But, yeah, man, that shit was cool. I like like writing, writing like that, like that type of writing, psychological shit. But I think that's it for this video, that's it for this review. I would recommend the show if you're into that type of shit. But I know, and yeah, I look forward to seeing the other books. I look forward to seeing if the whole you know ghost being alive theory is true, and if that happens. Uh, I, I would be kind of dis I would be kind of disappointed if it doesn't happen. If he doesn't come back, I would be very disappointed because <laughs> I want this nigga to come back and kill Tyreek bitch ass. Uh, and let me know in the comments who your favorite characters were, who your favorite character is, who your least favorite character is. Uh, I'll see you. I'll see you in the next review.